Really interested in his views on the debate too. We are joined now by the New Zealand uh, First Leader, uh, Winston Peters. Winston, good to see you again. Uh, look, first up, did you enjoy last night? You look like you were having a good time. Well, yes and no. I'm sorry, by the way, it wasn't New Zealand, it was Great Lynn, and you're quite right. Um, frankly, it was part of the circus, and I'm sitting there thinking, you know, the people, the two people on my right, the first two, they're speaking like darn communists. This is how serious it was. We're going to tax everybody to the hill. We're going to take all the money off them. We're going to be a dude Robin Hood. And, of course, they'll be halfway to being a respected Robin Hood. They'll take the money off the rich, right? But they won't yeah. be giving it to the I, I'm really interested. How did, did they decide where you stood? Oh, they just decided it. Really? Because I, I, thought, I, I thought the dynamic that created was, uh, you know, and I would have had uh, maybe you next to Seymour and then the Maori party opposite, you know, on the far end, and Marama in the middle, or gone, boy, girl, boy, girl, I think it would have changed the dynamic of the whole thing. Well, you're quite right, but I got there and I was told that's where I was, and that's where I, you know, I could have said, well, I've got to draw straws, I'm going to do something else, but no, no, that's how it happened. Yeah. Um, also, I've got to say, uh, and I'm not um, relieving myself um, in your pocket, Winston, you've done a lot of those and it showed. Uh, well, you know, something I was listen. I was talking to the people on my right there, and this is the fact: you got the Green Party, which formed under the word under the uh, name Values, fifty-one years ago, and they've never been inside a cabinet. Mm. Now, this is staggering. Half a century, it never got a cabinet minister, a minister inside of cabinet. Mm. They, they were like colleague. two branches of the same party: Marama Davidson and Debbie Nare Wapaka. It's like. There is just one anti-rich people party called Te Party Green, they might as well call themselves. Yes, I know, but it's destroyed, it'll destroy the environmentalist movement. Because yeah. they're being about the environment, they're now about straight out communist. Uh, yeah. uh, and that was the other yeah. thing. That there was very little discussion from the Greens about the environment. It was all class warfare. And I think you used the term, the politics of envy. That's right. Just a terrible. And I put myself there... I know, I'm living at Auckland Central, sort of, that's in Auckland CBD, very, virtually very close to it in Greyland. But I'm thinking to myself, what on earth is, are we doing here? This is a farce. We've got a crisis in our country. And you've got to have the flight of young people, now you're going to have the flight of capital. And they don't understand that people like Hart, the rich people in this country, enormous amount of their wealth is not New Zealand based, it's offshore. And so you're just going to denude the yeah. country of people. You like also that. managed to flick in the terms woke. And white cis male um, <laughs> during the debate. Um, I don't think we heard woke on Tuesday night, which engendered a reaction um, from other people on the face. Well, this, is what, this is a person who said that all violence in this country is committed by white cis male. Yeah. And that should be, that should be the end of her career. Yeah. Honestly, you cannot make those sorts of mistakes from where I'm coming from, but she gets away with it. Yeah. And I thought, oh, this is disgusting. It's not. Oh, I know, thought it was dangerous for you standing there that a motorcycle didn't suddenly appear and, and, and knock you over, um, <laughs> to be honest. My dear, well, you would I, have just I, ridden after it on your horse. Um, <laughs> look, the other thing was... In her uh, case, uh, case, she walked into it on purpose so she could be on the headlines. Yeah. You know that. Are you saying that? Are you saying she walked into that bike deliberately? That's, that, that's what I'm being told, just like that. And I can quite believe there's no reason why she should have been hit by that bike. Yeah. Um, and you know, you know what? There are journalists that know that. Yeah. You know, Look, the other thing that happened, Winston, and uh, God, God knows why, um, David Seymour came for you again. Well, he, had, he attacked me again with a tissue of lies. You saw well, with his he opinions. Came, no, no, he came to say that, you know, I'm... Um, Cannot be trusted. I've been in disaster in any coalition I've been in. Look, 17 to, 17 to 20, the stability of that government is owed to one party, New Zealand first. Then you go and ask Helen Clark. She'll tell the same. Go and ask Bolger. But I'm not going to stand there and take that, so that's why I decided, no, sunshine. Okay. This is not going to be the Well, that was that. in response to a series of questions about, and, you know, as I said, I know what you're going to say about coalition before him. Clearly no, this week, Luxon has left the door open. <laughs> He's not ruling you out. He knows that the election, the fat lady or the physically over-endowed uh, person who identifies as a female hasn't sung yet. Um, I've always wondered about that phrase, you know? Yeah. Oh, it's incredibly... Well, you know, I, I mean, I think Jim Boulder said it once, and I thought, how does he... 
you get away with that because it's so anti-feminist. It's sort of... Oh, uh, don't go, don't go woke on me, Winston. <laughs> <laughs> 